This video is the first of a series of two in which we're going to examine the uh, response of the equilibrium of the equilibrium to the change in the conditions. Uh, the two condi change in the conditions that we're going to examine are first the presence of a catalyst and second uh, the presence or the change in temperature. Okay, so let's see what happens when you add a catalyst to a reaction mixture and see uh, how that affects the equilibrium constant. All right, we know that the equation for the equilibrium constant is equal to e to the minus delta rg uh, the standard state over rt. Right, so uh, any changes to uh, delta rg uh, will give us a change in the, re in the equilibrium constant. So the question is whether a catalyst is able to affect the equilibrium constant or not. Right, so let's think about uh, a very simple chemical reaction. We could do A to B or we can use uh, glucose 6-phosphate uh, in aqueous solution to uh, fructose 6-phosphate in aqueous solution. Right, and then we can write the equilibrium constant simply as the following. This is going to be the molar concentration of products, fructose 6-phosphate, over the uh, concentration of products at the standard state, which in this case is going to be one molar, over the change in concentration of reagents, over the concentration of reagents, which is glucose 6-phosphate, over the concentration of reagents at the standard state, which will be one molar. Okay, so that is the value of the equilibrium constant. Um, all right, now the question is what happens to this when you add a catalyst? Uh, this reaction can occur without a catalyst, but it would be very slow. Okay, that's an isomerization. Uh, in our cells, uh, during glycolysis, that is actually um, uh, catalyzed by an isomerase, which makes the reaction much faster. Okay, so we can actually say that, well, that reaction uh, now, when you catalyze it by uh, isomerase, okay, uh, has a species uh, C in reagents, but the same species is present in products, C in products. Okay. Uh, the definition of, the of a catalyst is a substance that is not consumed or uh, created in the overall reaction. It only makes the reaction faster. As you can see, the reaction does not consume or uh, generate any catalyst. Uh, the catalyst is a reagent and a product of, of the overall reaction. So then when we actually write here the equilibrium constant of now the catalyt catalytic process, what will happen is that here we will have a term uh, for the concentration of the catalyst divided over the concentration of the catalyst at the reference state. And then you have exactly the same term down here, okay, but those would cancel out naturally. Okay, what that means is that there's no change to the equilibrium constant from the presence of the catalyst. Okay, uh, the catalyst only makes the reaction go faster. All right, so a way to then examine how, uh, another way to examine how the uh, equilibrium constant changes uh, the equilibrium would be to try to plot here the concentrations of fructose 6-phosphate as a fraction of thyme and glucose 6-phosphate. Okay, we know that this reaction is not very heavily displaced. As a matter of fact, that, re that equilibrium constant is 0.15 which means that if you start with a uh, concentration of glucose like this, this will decrease by about 30%. Okay, and the concentration of um, fructose 6-phosphate will only be about half of what the concentration of glucose 6-phosphate is at equilibrium. Okay, so you reach equilibrium uh, from here on. Okay, that's what would happen uh, if you don't have a catalyst. Now, if you add the catalyst, what will happen is that you will reach that equilibrium much sooner. Okay, so uh, the catalyst will make the reaction faster, but the situation of equilibrium does not change. Okay? So that would be what happens when you have a catalyst. And then uh, in the presence of that catalyst for products, again, you will reach your products uh, equilibrium much faster. Okay, so you will start like this, and again, reach products really fast, and then it doesn't change. Okay, so again, we can, we can say that that's what happens when you have a catalyst. Okay, notice that the point of equilibrium, the ratio of the concentration of products of the reagents doesn't change. You just reach that point of equilibrium sooner. Okay, so to summarize this video, uh, a catalyst does not uh, uh, change the value of the equilibrium constant. It only makes the uh, equilibrium be reached faster than if you don't have a catalyst.